Good morning. I hope everybody's well. I feel a lot better. It's my little tripod thing that holds my phone. I bought some more of them at Walmart. They ain't, they ain't as good as this one. They got the little spongy stuff on them. Just don't have a sponge. Uh, anyway, that's what I've been up to. The excitement this morning, about 3.30 in the morning, I had a bunch of totes stacked up with canned goods in them. And guess what? One fell off. Canned goods went everywhere. Everybody woke up and started screaming and barking and raising all kinds of hell. Thought the world had fell in. I got up, went in the dining room where I had them stacked. Where it, uh, I brought them back in from the uh, this winter so they wouldn't freeze in the, tr the hamlets. Because you can use will freeze. It got down to minus 25 here. So I brought them in. And I intend to put them back. Uh, but I hadn't yet. So but one of them slipped off the top of the other one. Canned goods went everywhere. Mainly that was the meat toad. It had tuna, salmon, canned ham, potted meat, you name it, in the in the chili. Anything it, kind of meat you could figure was in cans, that was what it was. That was the, can, the meat toad. And baby girl still ain't went back to sleep. She's just a little irritated this morning. Big boy, he found something underneath my bed. I think it's where a little guy or Ori hides their bones. And he was tearing all kinds of hell up trying to get to that stash of food. So there you go. That was my exciting. Now one's rapping about the other one because it's getting more covered than the other one. Leave him alone. Ori's on, on the van now. Him and baby grew up. Little guy, I, don't, I think big boy's underneath the, my bed, and the little guy, little God knows where he's at. Boy's having a fit. But that's what happens. <laughs> you raise animals then. I didn't want to happen at first, I'm telling you. I thought, okay, the world's falling apart here. So somebody would break it in on us. Uh, house was pitch black. And hell, if you don't know how you to go in this house, the shit fall on you and kill you <laughs> before you ever get to me. Is that right, Ori? He said, yep, that's right. Come here, old man. Well, he said, I'm staying here with my woman. She'll share the blanket with you. Oh, little guy's over by his mama. That's what Ori was rapping about. That's what you had kids, they get in the middle. You didn't like him sleeping with them. And then I had to move the gate, and I knocked down the china hutch top. I had to put it back. A little thing I got nailed on the wall, I put china in. I actually didn't fall, it just leaned over on the wall, and I had to pick it back up. Come on, come over here, Daddy. He said, Hell no, there's another kid around here somewhere I'm going to grab about. I appreciate everybody coming by yesterday and making their complaints, and I read every one of them. I didn't want to comment on, on you guys' problems, and I got enough of my own, but I feel for you. Yep, I feel for you. Then I had people call me and said, well, you got any more stuff? I'm like, okay, I'll let you know when I clean up another corner. I did appreciate everybody that gave me stuff in life. I counted them all up. Wasn't but about five or six times. Uh, I did win something from a friend of mine one time on one of his giveaways. It was one of his painting, a Mandela. And it sits on my desk. And when I raised up in my hospital bed, which I kept, uh, bought it actually. And uh, I can see it. Come over here, Daddy. 
said, hell no, I don't want to go for where you're at. My blood sugar was good. Took my meds at 5 o'clock. Can't take them before 5, so I got them out of the way for the day. I need to go get a pedicure. That's what my son says. They got them over there at Walmart. $35, I think it's what it costs. Something like that. It wasn't very much. But I'm a diabetic and I'm scared to death that they'll cut my foot too deep. As long as they use a, a sandpaper or something like that, I'm fine. But if they start taking that razor blade thing out, I don't want nothing to do with it. Cause if they, and I take blood thinners, so if you cut me, it'll bleed for days. And I don't want that shit. And take six months to heal. Hell with that. I've been using sandpaper. Sandpaper's on a stick. It will go out of gas. Uh, I ain't got many relatives left. Well, siblings left, really. I ain't got no uncles, no aunts, no, no parents. Very few siblings are left. I got the, me and my brother and my two sisters, and that's it. It's for where I was left. Uh, I got my older sisters, my two older sisters, and an older brother. I guess I'm the baby of the family now. My little baby sister died due to COVID, I believe. Nobody knows. She went to bed. She was on oxygen, went to bed, and didn't wake up. They didn't do an autopsy because she'd been on auction for a long time. She had heart trouble and everything else. Oh, uh, well. That's enough about the sadness. Let's see, I gotta take that care of all. I gotta get outside today. I, to, I gotta wash clothes and I'm gonna line this your stick. I'd put it in the washer and the dryer, but hell, I'd have to move some of the shit to get it in there. Didn't take the other one out. It's too damn much work. I'll just go to the laundry, man. If I have to dry something big. The hell, I only have a load of coats once a week. What the hell? A couple, three towels and some wash rags and some underwear and t-shirts and, uh, Couple pair of pants. Hell, ain't much. One, <clears throat> I just put it all in one load. And that's what I do. Uh, I gotta move the dog bones back since I moved them out of the way because I can go see what the hell was going on. Uh, little guy's not been eating these treats. He's been hiding them. The big boy's been trying to tear up his house and find them all. Or he's not been eating his treats either. Or he and big, the little guy got into it yesterday over a treat. This little guy was trying to hide one. And or he decided if he wanted it to hide it and keep it from big boy and baby girl. They eat, but they're a hound dog. Yeah, they... The other two more chihuahua than, than anything. Or he's full of blood. And little guy's more chihuahua than he is uh, mini pen. Which they came out of a Dotson, uh, 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 which is a hound, and a Egyptian greyhound. So they got the hound blood in them. When the word hound, uh, any hound, they gobble their food. They don't chew it, they just swallow it. Chihuahuas pick at it, and they'd rather have you tear it and hand it little pieces at a time. That's your chihuahua in you. Uh, well, if I got up right now and went back to bed, a little guy would be in, in the bed and within five minutes. So, oh, daddy went to back to bed. I'm going back to bed with him. See what I had for supper. I had a bowl of chili last night. 
chili, onions, and crackers, and I put some sharp cheddar melted on top. That's what I eat. It's canned chili at that. Uh, my wife can make the best chili. She used all the spices and stuff, and lean meat. She used regular beef. She didn't use hamburger meat. But most people use hamburger meat to make chili. She didn't. She'd chop up uh, steak real fine and make chili out of it. She knew I didn't care too much for beef meat. I like a good roast, a good chili made out of beef. And that's about it. And my pork chops are a different theory. I like pork chops. I like chicken, pork chops, all kinds of fowl, and fish. Red meat, not so much. If I do, I like it in a good roast. If I like it in a stew, I guess that's what's... But eating just a big old steak, no, not too much. I used to buy her big old T-bone steaks and cook them on the grill. She loved them. I'd do me some chicken legs, their thighs, on the grill, and barbecue them. Uh, and I'll tell you something about barbecue. That damn, some people just say they grill it and then they pour barbecue sauce on it. A, a good barbecue does not have any of that damn uh, barbecue sauce on the damn shit. If it has to have barbecue sauce on it, you didn't, you didn't barbecue, you just put ketchup on it with brown sugar in the damn thing. It's all about the rub. I went to a place one time and damn it had so much of that damn barbecue sauce on it I sent it back. You should set barbecue sauce on the side if they want to use it that's fine. What he was doing was using barbecue, uh, barbecue sauce to hide the damn flavor of the damn meat. Yeah, they couldn't, he couldn't barbecue for the shit. But I told him to. I said I ain't eating this shit. I go to the damn store and give me a package of weenies. It tastes better than this shit. <laughs> I'm picky about my food. But uh, never trust a skinny cook either. They ain't fleshy. They ain't cooking. <laughs> Even if they taste their own food, they're going to waste something. I have a little sister. She, well, the twins, the one that died, she could cook better, even though she's a little bitty skinny thing. Now, the heavy set one, she can't cook worth shit. Bonnie, she can't cook nothing. She can't even boil water. I don't know how in the hell she fed her kids. Must have been cereal all the damn time. That's what she said. She fed them for breakfast with cereal. I said, well, what did you feed them for? Well, we took the TV dinners or tore a package open. Pre-cooked pre foods, what she feed them. I wish you can kill them. I've met very few cook, good cooks in my life. Very few good ones. And I've went to the best restaurants they've got in the world. All they do is decorate the damn food. They, I mean, it tastes all right, this, that, and the other, but it's more for a decoration on the plate than it is a good taste in food. And hell, they feed you portions that the damn mice wouldn't eat. These little tiny stuff. Bullshit. I said, paid $65 for this damn plate of food and it damn ain't even worth eating. Better just take a picture of it and keep it. Uh, mm. I'd rather go to somebody's house and eat like a family meal than I would the best damn restaurant that you can ever devise. Because all it is is for show. We used to have Dawson cafeterias here. 
And it was pretty good food. And then it got commercialized. We used to have one on the north side and one on the south side. And then when they went worldwide or independent, I think they finally turned into something like, I don't know, uh, Denny's or something like that. All you could eat buffet thing. Sisters and Sirloin or something, all you could eat buffets. Then it wasn't worth shit anymore. They went commercial. What was the name of the damn place? We used to call them Dotson Cafeteria. The old man Dotson uh, started them. I can't remember what they turned into. I, they bought the franchise out and turned them into something else. <laughs> Some big commercial name. I can't remember. Back in the day. And I've had very few good hamburgers. We used to have a place in Lodi, California. We'd turn there to go up to Middletown, Lower Lake and Clear Lake, up past Napa. We'd turn at Lodi. And about oh, a quarter of a mile off the road, we're still on the road to go to Lodi, but you turn off a 99, I think it was the name of the freeway. If you go to the damn freeway. I mean, they wouldn't, you know. But anyway, we turn there, turn left, go up towards Lodi, coming from Alesto. And that little cafe, you could get a milkshake, fries, and a hamburger. I want to say two dollars, or a dollar and a half, two dollars. Yeah, it was a dollar and a half if you had a drink, a pop with it. Two dollars if you had a milkshake. And it was a real milk. It was a malt. It wasn't a milkshake. They put the powdered malt in it. Big old malt. And the hamburger was that big, man. Uh, you couldn't eat the damn. I mean, it was like a uh, shit nine inches across. Great big old bun. And they piled all kinds of stuff on it. Whatever you wanted, they put on it. And you damn sure couldn't eat a double double hamburger, what they call they called it a double hamburger. They didn't call it a double cheeseburger, it's a double hamburger, and you put cheese on it. Uh, but that's the best damn hamburger I ever ate in my life. Low down California. And our best steak I ever had was in outside of Amarillo, Texas. And that's something because I don't like steak. It was good, well cooked, wasn't medium rare shit. It was a good, well cooked, tenderized steak. Uh, and the old boy at that restaurant raised his own beef, so he had good meat. Yeah. Now, chocolate, you gotta go abroad to eat good chocolate. South America is a good place. Costa Rica makes, has good. Chocolate ain't sweet, bitter. Chocolate is bitter. It's not. It's like coffee. It's really bitter compared to everything else. I like uh, what they call dark chocolate. Um, I've got some milk chocolate, but really, it's just too sweet for milk chocolate. Uh, talking about food makes me hungry, but I ain't even. It ain't, oh, hell, it needs to be 10, 11 o'clock before I eat some. Uh, yesterday I had two eggs it's, and some biscuits, and I cut them in half and toasted them. I got the hiccups, took my medicine, and I get the hiccups. I'm going to do something today. I don't know what it is. It's supposed to rain this evening. These storms and lightning and probably chances of small hail. Boy, Darman, where my oldest sister lives down there. Um, God, they had a hail storm and it destroyed my nephews and his kids' this place. Didn't too, do too much damage to my sister's place. Thank God, she's too damn old to be worried about shit like that. Yep. Uh, get out and do something. Chris said he's, I told him I had that electric chainsaw. He can go down there and cut them stumps down. 
first had a tree guy do it. He left them up about that damn tall. I said, why didn't he cut the damn things off smooth the ground? Well, he didn't want to get his chain dirty or something, Chris said. I said, well, hell, I wouldn't have paid his ass. I said, I ain't tripping over them damn stumps. Yeah. Yeah, people are. He said, they told me, he said, I could get out here and cut some of these limbs up. I said, yep, when, when donkeys fly or pigs fly, I like can't want to come over here somewhere hanging up. It's over here hanging up. When pigs fly, I get out there. I don't give a damn too much about the yard anymore. I pray to God from fall. Yeah, that's all I need is fall with a chainsaw. Of course, it's not gas. It's an electric so if you Put your, take your finger off the trigger, it wouldn't go around. Mm. But he's cleaned it up quite a bit. He still needs to know, he said. He tries to hire people to do it for us, and shit, nobody wants to work anymore. I guess it, they ain't finished spending them damn assemblies check shit. <clears throat> the government said they're going to give them, what, what the hell is they $6,500 per person now. That's what the president thought, said something about that or something. I said, the hell you give them six, seven thousand dollars at one whack day shit, they won't work for another damn year. It does help a lot of people, now don't get me wrong. There's a lot of, there's a lot of people, you know, I don't need it. And what they should do is have it, uh, interview the people that don't, that needs it and the people that don't need it. Yeah. And there's people that need more, in other words, what they're giving one person, they can give to the other person, you know, whatever. It's like uh, Social Security. They don't want to give nothing. Hell, I know people get $450 a month. I know one old boy gets 400 his wife gets 200 That's 600 a month. Can you figure out how they're going to live on $600 a month, two of them? Yeah. He does side work, thank God. He's able to do it, a little bit of it. Yeah. But what they should do is give them a minimum wage, at least minimum wage. And that should be brought up to $15 an hour. They should have like $2,400 a month. That's what the lowest person making out there should be getting 2400 a month. By my calculations to eat and help, houses would go up, everything would go up, you know, just like uh, after this COVID stuff, everybody's going up on their gas. Like gas goes up in the summer because people travel. Supply and demand, we're capitalists. Yeah. I buy shit in the, let's say, I buy stuff in the, the end of winter, first of summer, I, or spring, I start buying the winter clothes because they went on sale. And then the end of summer, uh, the, all the summer clothes will go on sale because they put, bringing out the winter clothes. And I buy, I mean, if I'm going to live next year, hell, I just put it in the box for a year, hell, or six months. Pull out that nice coat I bought for seven bucks, which cost thirty-seven or forty-seven when it was in the winter time. Same way with shirts, I bought them as cheap as three dollars a shirt. That's fifteen dollars a shirt when uh, it was the season to wear them. I like like long sleeve shirts go on sale uh, in uh, April, the end of April, first of May. You know, everybody wants the short sleeves. And vice versa in, in the winter. Summer and winter. Hell, learn how to buy. Be sh be smart and thrifty. When you run across something on sale, and would check their sale prices. I went to, uh, to some stores that say, uh, like Walmart, and they have the current sale. Well, you go over there and pick up some product, you look at it, okay, it's $3.00. You go over there where the actual products are and this price the same thing, so they really wasn't on clearance. They just put it on the aisle to f trick and fool the people. Yeah. 
But I got where if I don't need it, I don't buy it anymore. I was going to buy a nice uh, Levi jacket. I think it was on sale for eleven dollars. They're about forty-five dollars. Real nice Levi jacket. But hell, I got two or three of them, so I thought, nah, I better not. So that's what I'm saying. I mean, I got a rack of them over there, and I can't even find room for them. But I can't resist not buying shoes. I'll buy brand new shoes when I got one pair. <laughs> the same way I'll leave by pants, shirts. I got plenty of clothes. I got four or five closets plus a double rack out there in the middle of the room. Socks, too. I buy socks like you wouldn't believe. Yep. And hell, all kinds of shit. Towels. I got more than a league. Probably got a hundred towels in there. At least a hundred. Wash rags. And I go through the uh, tea towels and stuff pretty fast. And if they get stained up pretty bad, I move you move them in here to the paint. Wash them in and put them in here in the paint department where I can wipe up paint and stuff with them. When I'm painting. I bought a beautiful painting the other day like I really need to. Get over here, my daddy. Come to your daddy, baby girl. <coughs> she wants to go outside. Here. Now she went over to the food bowl checking the water around. She rules the roost. They don't mess with her too much. She bites them. She's the killer of the family. She'll kill mice, moles, and all kinds of shit gets in the yard. She thinks she's just going to kill it. You need to wait till daylight the mosquitoes bite you. You get heart disease. Boy, he said he stole her cover since she got up. Mm, I got to put some more blankets down. I washed a big pile of them the other day. I threw a couple of them away that baby girl tears holes in it. She sucks on them because she wasn't, she took away from her parents, her mother too damn young. Baby girl, what are you doing? I'll see you what you're doing. What are you doing over there? Come here to daddy. She's sitting on the butt. Well, I'm going to let you guys go. Got to tend to these dogs. She tells me it's time for her to go out. She's getting old, she can't hold her pee. Big boy's right with me, so let's go outside. And then she turned around and looked back at me. Oh, I gotta go. She's back. What?